Hello everyone! I'm so excited to see you again. This week is all about ponds and who lives in ponds? Ducks and turtles and lizards and lots of bugs and there's lots of water and some fish inside the water. So a lot of animals, they live in the pond. So we're gonna have some songs and some books and a craft. Are you ready to go? Awesome. But what do we do every time we come to our story time? We sing our hello song. Hello, 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 how are you? Hello, 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 how are you? I'm good, I'm great, I'm wonderful. I'm good, I'm great. I'm wonderful. Hello, 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 how are you? Hello, 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 how are you? I'm tired, I'm hungry, I'm not so good. I'm tired, I'm hungry, I'm not so good. Hello, 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 how are you? Hello, 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 how are you? So now we're going to have our first book all about the pond. And this book is called In the Small, Small Pond by Denise Fleming. In the small, small pond. Wiggle, jiggle, tadpoles wriggle. Waddle, wade, geese parade. Hover, shiver, wings quiver. Drowse, doze, eyes close. Lash, lunge, herons plunge. Splitter, splatter, minnows scatter. Circle, swirl, whirly gigs twirl. Sweep, swoop. Swallows scoop. Click, clack, claws crack. Dabble, dip, tails flip. Splish, splash, paws flash. Pile, pack, muskrat stack. Chill, breeze, winter freeze. Cold night, sleep tight, small, small pond. Yay! So now we're gonna have some songs all about ponds. Our first one has this little guy in it. He is a lizard. They're usually green, sometimes black, or different, lots of different colors. And that's what our song is about. About a lizard with lots of different colors. Are you ready? It kind of sounds like, have you ever seen a lassie? So if you know that song, you'll be able to sing this one. Here we go, here we go. Have you ever seen a lizard, a lizard, a lizard? Have you ever seen a lizard all dressed in pink with pink eyes and pink nose and pink legs and pink toes? Have you ever seen a lizard dressed all in pink? Have you ever seen a lizard, a lizard, a lizard? Have you ever seen a lizard dressed all in white with white eyes and a white nose and white legs and white toes? Have you ever seen a lizard dressed all up in white? Have you ever seen a lizard, a lizard, a lizard? Have you ever seen a lizard dressed all in purple with purple eyes and a purple nose and purple legs and purple toes. Have you ever seen a lizard dressed all in purple? Have you ever seen a lizard, a lizard, a lizard? Have you ever seen a lizard dressed all up in blue with blue eyes and a blue nose and blue legs and blue toes? Have you ever seen a lizard dressed all up in blue? Yay! 
So now our song is about this little guy. He is a turtle and right now he is standing in my little pond that I made him. I call him Tim, Tim the turtle. So now we're gonna do a song about the very tired turtle. And it sounds like I've been working on the railroad, but it's about a very tired turtle. I've been crawling through the mud all the whole day long. I've been crawling through the mud just to listen to my song. My house is getting heavy. My legs are tired and sore. I'm moving very slowly. I can't sing anymore. Yay! Poor tired turtle. So now we're gonna do a song about some frogs. And it sounds like she'll be coming round the mountain. Oh, a green frog sat upon a lily pad. Oh, a green frog sat upon a lily pad. He went croaky, 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 and he sounded okie dokie. Oh, a green frog sat upon a lily pad. Yay! So now we're gonna do a special song with some of these guys. Do you know what they are? They are frogs. Are we ready? There's gonna be five of them. Let's see, I will set them up so maybe you can see them as they go. Here we are, we have our five, five frogs. Are we ready for our song? Okay. Five little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are four green speckled frogs. Four little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are only three green frogs. Three green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are only two green frogs. Two green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there's one green and speckled frog. One green and speckled frog sat on a speckled log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. He jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are no more green frogs. Yay! All of my frogs, they went for a swim. Now we are going to make a craft and today's craft is an insect or an animal, I guess it's an insect, called a snail. So we're gonna make a snail. Are you ready? This is what you're gonna need. For this craft, you will need a paper plate, some googly eyes, different colored paper, some markers or paint sticks, glue, a pencil, and scissors. Do you have what you need? Good. If you don't, that's fine too. And if you want to make this craft later, that's totally fine too. You can watch me and see what I do. So what you need, like I said, is a paper plate and I'm going to use green for my grass. And so I'm going to cut the top of it so it kind of looks like grass because that's where the snails live. So I'm gonna cut. Just some you know, different. Just little cuts. So you can kind of see that it's some grass.
So you can kind of make it whatever way you want, just so you can kind of, it looks like grass. So then we also have to make the body of the snail. So this is going to be the shell of the snail. It's sort of on his back. So I'm gonna make my body out of pink, but you can pick whatever you want. So I'm gonna use a pencil and I'm sort of gonna draw him having a long body and then he's gonna have a head that goes up like that. So it kind of looks like this. And I'm gonna cut it out. to take him on my paper and I am going to glue him down with my glue. glue. Okay, so now he's on my paper. He's all glued down. Put my cap back on. So now I'm going to take his shell and I'm going to put it in the middle and I'm going to take the glue on the back of my paper on my plate and I'm going to put it right there. I'm going to push it down hard so it stays. So it's going to look like this. Now I'm going to take some two eyes. I have some googly eyes. And I'm going to get some glue and put those on. One eye. Two eyes. And then I'm also going to take my third color I picked. I wanted yellow. I'm going to make two antenna, just little sticks. Just making little sticks and I'm going to use my glue to give him some antenna. One, two. So that looks like this so far, our little snail. So now I'm going to also grab my marker, just anything you have, and I'm gonna give him a little mouth. There we go. And now I want to decorate his shell, the thing that's on his back. So I have some paint sticks, but you can do whatever you want. You can use paint or a marker. So I'm going to do that. And I'm just gonna make, I the pattern I want to go is a swirl, but you can make dots, whatever you wish. So I'm gonna make a swirl. One part of my swirl. And I think I might make some dots with my black. My black to make dots. So I'm gonna make some dots inside my swirl. Dot, dot. And I think I might make some dots on him too. There we go. But you can do whatever you want. This is just my snail. Yours will be different. And there he is. I like my snail. Now you can make yours. Or maybe you did it with me and you can show me what it looks like. So now my area is very dirty and I need to clean it up. So we're gonna have the song the clean up song. Clean up, clean up, everybody everywhere. Clean up, clean up, everybody do their share. So I'm gonna put everything I used back. I'm going to leave my little snail here so you can see him too. And Tim the turtle. And 
there we go. There's my turtle Tim and my lizard. So now we're gonna have some more books. And this book is called Frog on a Log. Frog sits on his log by the bog. With one big hop, he jumps over the bog. Off he goes, frog likes to jog. I'm jogging frog from the log by the bog. Frog's jogging has ended, it is foggy. Out of the fog runs Pup the dog. Pup can't see, he bumps into frog's log. Frog falls off into the bog. Frog is back up on his log. Along trots Big Pig in the fog. Pig is looking for Pup the dog. Now he bumps into Frog's log. And Frog falls off into the bog. Next day it is sunny. Bump into my log, says Frog. Is Frog trying to be funny? Bump your log, barks Pup the dog. You will not call us silly dog and hog. No, bump away, croaks Green Frog. I cannot fall off. I've strapped myself to my log. So Big Pig and Pup the Dog bump into the log, which tips back into the bog, taking the foolish frog. Frog is a gog. Now it is me who is silly, a silly frog. Yay! Now we're going to sing a song, and it sounds like I'm a little teapot, but it's about a froggy and a turtle. Are we ready? Okay. See the little froggy swimming in the pool. The water is great, it's nice and cool. When he gets all cleaned up, out he'll hop. Squeaky clean from the bottom to the top. See the little froggy on the lily pad, trying to catch flies, she's getting sad. When she catches one, she'll gobble it up, and back in the water she'll go kerplop. I'm a little turtle with a shell. I have four legs, a head, and a tail. When I get so scared, I want to hide. I pull my head and legs inside. Yay! So now we're going to do a song about a frog who lives by the pond. But it sounds like Farmer in the Dell. The frog lives in the pond. Her tongue is oh so long. It reaches high to catch the fly. The frog lives in the pond. The frog lives in the pond. Her tongue is oh so long. It reaches high to catch the fly. The frog lives in the pond. Yay! So now this song is again about a frog. And I used to sing this when I went to camp because it's fun to make faces. Are we ready? Okay. Mm -mm, went the little green frog one day. Mm -mm, went the little green frog. Mm -mm, went the little green frog one day. And they all went mm -mm, ah. But we all know frogs go la di da di da, la di da di da, la di da di da. We all know frogs go. La di da di da, they don't go mm mm ah. Yay! That was fun. I like making faces like a frog. So now we're going to do our last song and then we're going to have a book. Uh, this one sounds like Frere Jaca, but it's about baby frogs called tadpoles. Little tadpoles, little tadpoles, lost his tail, lost his tail. Now he has two feet, now he has four feet. Look a frog, look a frog. Little tadpole, little tadpole, lost his tail, lost his tail. Now he has two feet, now he has four feet. Look a frog, look a frog. Yay! So now we're gonna have our last book. And this one's called Over and Under the Pond by Kate Messner.
Over the pond we slide, splashing through lily pads, sweeping through reeds. The waters are mirror reflecting the sky, sunshine and clouds, then a shadow below. What's down there, I asked. Under the pond, Mom says. Under the pond is a whole hidden world of minnows and crawfish, turtles and bullfrogs. We're paddling over them now. Over the pond, we skim past tall rushes, whirligig beetles, loop and twirl, skaters on warm sur summer surface. Under the pond, minnows dart through waving forests of grass while a brook trout lurks ready to lunge. Over the pond, we lift and dip and pull past a row of painted turtles on a waterlogged tree. One, two, three, they slip off and away. Splash, gurgle, sploosh, under the pond. Over the pond, cattails rustle and shush in the wind. Listen close, cuckleree, red-winged blackbirds race by. One has grass for her nest. Under the pond, a cattle fly larva builds a home of her own, a secret shelter of pebbles and sand. Over the pond, the shadows of trees lean out from the shore. We coast under a low hanging branch. A moose looks up with a mouthful of water lilies. We've interrupted his lunch. Under the pond, deep beavers dip, dive deep. They pump and with wonderful tails and rise to the surface with delectable roots from the mud. Over the pond, the wind gives us a push and stirs the light dappled leaves on shore. There are on a branch, a new goldfish teeters, finally ready to fly. Under the pond, tadpoles are changing, learning to hop, they're losing tails, growing legs, growing up. Over the pond, they're at the shore, tall and silent and still. A great blue heron stares down into the deep. It tenses, it takes one legged step and strikes. It catches a wiggling quicksilver minnow from where it was hiding under the pond. Over the pond, we drift, heads tipped up to the sky. A woodpecker clings to a teetering pine, digging for ants. Under the pond, an otter claws for freshwater mussel. Over the pond, a sleepy dragonfly lands for a rest. His spindly night legs tickle my knee. Under the pond, dragonfly larvae watch what swims by. They catch minnows in monster fast jaws. Over the pond, the shadows stretch. Ospreys circle on quiet wings. Raccoons and minks stop the shoreline for supper. Under the pond, with a flip of a tail, a crawfish disappears in the dark. Over the pond, we head for home. We slide and glide, swish bump, right on up onto the shore as far off loons call good night. The sky turns from sunset to dusk to dark. Night settles over the pond. The prowling catfish, the drowsy turtles, the scuttling crayfish, the tadpoles turn frogs, wading herons, and striking, stalking raccoons and the hidden world under the pond. Yay! So today was such a great day. All about ponds and all the animals that live there. Who knew there were so many animals that lived there? Like our friend Tim, the turtle, and our lizards, and bugs, and lots of other different things. So now we're gonna sing our goodbye song and we will see you next week. The day is done and we had fun. The day is done and we had fun. We'll see you again next week. But for now, the day is done. Bye guys, I'll see you later.